hey guys welcome back it's been a long time i know i know i know life has just been so crazy that i don't even know where to start but um after i graduated nothing really happened as in terms of like externship or anything like that because covid19 kind of really hit everyone and everything so when it came to like getting an externship it was really hard like no one was grabbing anyone and it was just so hard getting an externship and when it comes to getting a job well that was even harder but i never applied for a job i was just busy looking for an extern so you know i stayed working where i was and today is we're in September now and I officially got my externship so that's almost like three months later um not complaining but a lot of things have happened and I just wanted to come here and let you guys know how the process was and about certification because you have to get that done as well um my baby <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, mom? Who are you talking to? Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk about certification and excellent in terms of certification, you have to take an exam and you have to pay your fees. And back before COVID, um, all of your documents had to be faxed and mailed and, and your fees had to be in a check form like, blah 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 and it took forever for them to get it and then it would take a long time for them to like respond and and um get back to you about approving your application for um, certification um but now everything is done online thank god and you just have to upload your certificate your cpr your this letter proving that you did the amount of injections and the amount of hours they want and it needs, and it needs to be signed by a professor so all of that and your you know like driver's license or id needs to um also be sent off when you make your application and um as for a certification that's all that's required and plus you have to pay your fee and I believe it was like 145 and that includes the basic and the clinical so if you did administration it would be like 185 but um I didn't do administration because I didn't take that administration course but if I would have wanted to I could have taken it um but that's not the case the certification process does take a while I um I waited a while to um, do the application and I should have waited. I could have already gotten out of the way, but I did it about a month ago and barely, more than a month ago and barely last week, I just got an email saying that my application was approved and I have a date since when I submitted the application to take the test. Now, when it comes to taking the test, it's just, a lot of things are happening right now like i'm doing my externship and then like i feel like once i'm done with externship it's gonna be the holidays so i don't really know if I, my mindset of, i don't really know if my mindset sets my mindset wants to be in study mode um or in relaxed mode <laughs> so i don't know if i want to take the exam soon because that would mean like in the next coming months I would like have to be like studying. Um, I don't think it's that hard, but still I just wanna give myself like a good month before I take the exam. So I need to think about it like, what am I gonna do these coming months to um, take the exam? So yeah, um, if you're gonna get certified, please do it right away because it takes a while. Um, so yeah, I think that's the certification part. Now, externship. I have I have so many classmates who have been taking or had taken externships and honestly, I've just been hearing like horror stories about externships. 
Um, a lot of them were saying that it's not easy and it was a bit of overwhelming. And since I did have like my first day the other um, last week, I can confirm it is really overwhelming and it is nothing what I thought an MA would be doing. And now that I think about it, MAs do so much and I didn't think we do that much. So right now I feel scared, like I don't know what I'm doing. My program doesn't look for externships, you have to go and find it. And the reason being was that already my program was a very cheap program and that was really beneficial for me because you know, I can't be wasting another 14,000 grand on school when I went to like a university and I got my degree, that was so expensive and so yeah i really liked that my program was cheap so that was one of the downers was that we had to look for our own externship and you had to pay an externship fee but once again i'm not paying fourteen thousand dollars i think i've spent like about three thousand in total so that was one of the donors that we had to look for externship, but they did help us find externships when we really couldn't find anything. And since it was really difficult to find anything because of the whole COVID, um, they eventually did help us out. So one of my friends in my friend group, my school friend of groups, um, she was the first one to get an externship because she was the first one who got cleared. Because when you're gonna take an externship, you need to be cleared. You need, you need to have your CPR, you need to be cleared with the health part you know when it comes to like injections like yeah, have yeah. your vaccines like all up to date and um so for me like i was missing like a vaccine component and that's why i wasn't cleared for the longest time but when i finally was it, it took me a long time to find anything um so I was just saying about my friend. My friend went to this clinic and and then towards like the middle of her externship, she reached out to all of us and she said that they were looking for more students that if we wanted to apply to go ahead. And so along for went two friends who started applying and they got waitlisted. So I guess they were just waiting for my first friend to finish and then like a segunda and the third would go up. Um, so she did say it was really overwhelming, but that she got the hang of it. That she got the hang of it. And so it didn't really freak us out, but I feel like she kind of freaked us all out. And so once she finished her externship, one of my other friends went and Honestly, I just feel like it was just really overwhelming for her and and I think also like the place that she was at was kind of like very judgmental and it wasn't like a safe environment that I would feel someone new coming into it would feel safe, you know? Um, so soon after she left it and then one of my other friends started working there and um, yeah, they kind of, she overheard the people working there saying that she was like really slow. And that was like a very sad thing to hear that they, you know, that they're talking about your classmates. So um, then last week they called me all of a sudden that they wanted me and I wasn't supposed to start until like later, later because you know, it was kind of waitlisted and it went one by one. And so I knew that if I applied, I wouldn't be working in that clinic until later and um yeah they called me and they were like really like persistent and also my coordinator didn't want me working there because they because she told me my coordinator told me like look at dame eso dame eso dame eso dame eso Sorry guys. So basically my coordinator was like, I don't want you paying the externship fee. This clinic is not willing to give you an exact date. 
and they didn't give me an exact date because they wanted me right away and that weekend i was gonna go away so like i wasn't gonna be there the day they wanted me and they were kind of telling me like well you know like if someone else applies and they can't start right away we're just gonna have to take them and i was like okay you know we'll do what you gotta do and so my coordinator was like not happy with like the way they they wanted me so she was just like you know what she was like i'm gonna help you out i'm gonna give you another clinic and they actually called me back like that same day and then the next day i had a phone interview and then they wanted me to come in person so that was like last week and i went in person on wednesday and then my first day of externship was on friday so it happened like so fast um one of the tips my coordinator gave me was don't leave it if something happens if i have a complaint about like the doctor or someone there that i have to call my school so we can do something about it because my coordinator didn't really like that there was like a couple girls who just like left their externships because it was just they were so overwhelmed and and my coordinator got mad at that and it was kind of sad like like why would she get annoyed when we feel overwhelmed or we kind of feel like not prepared um yeah we weren't prepared for this like what we learned in school or like the pace we learned in class was just so different you know i didn't think it was gonna be this busy and then like when the guy who was interviewing me he was like yeah this is a very busy clinic and i was like yeah whatever i'm okay with busy i did not know what the word busy meant until that day i externship i didn't even do anything but the girls were like bam 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 okay so let me tell you guys about my first day of externship i was really nervous i was sending videos to my friends like dude like i want to shit my pants so bad like my stomach hurts so bad i'm just like a very nervous person so i was like, very nervous. Mommy. Mommy, Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's your That's me. How do you Anna. No, you. What's your name? No, it's Anna. You're Luna. Luna. Mm -hmm. It's not Anna. How do you Luna. Nana. Me llamo Luna. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Mami. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I was, point is, I was really nervous. And I came in early because the guy said he wanted someone really reliable. Wow, this stuff. Mami, ponete para atrás, please. Pon mi jacket para atrás. So, you know, I came in looking professional with the scrubs, coming Mommy. in early. Mommy, it's play. Do play. Play with baby. You know, I came in on time. I was professional. My manager, the one who interviewed me, wasn't there. So I was waiting. And the girls and friends, they were like really nice. They were like, oh, just wait outside, like in their front area. Well, in the waiting area and they were like yeah just be on your phone until he comes so i was like oh my god I, feel so i was telling my friends i was like i feel so weird being on my phone but they told me to be on my phone so whatever um the guy came he introduced me to everyone everyone was very welcoming um and then you know he just kind of like stuck me to one ma and he was just like you know like you know like Take her to the rooms when you're doing, when you're like grooming patients, and you know, he's like, Tara, you know, like, let her shadow you. And she was like, Yeah, sure. And she was really nice and all, but like, damn, they went like, like one after the another. Okay, so that clinic is doing a lot of Zoom calls, and 
I think she only saw like six patients in person. So everything was Zoom. So she was calling them to make the Zoom appointment. And you know, I really don't really understand Zoom right now. Um, so, so yeah. So one of the things already was that was so one of the things that I was seeing was that, okay, they do a lot of phone calls with their patients. One, I don't like talking to people on the phone. Like, I don't know. I just, I hate calling people. So that's one of the things that's already, like, getting me out of my comfort zone. And putting me out there. Like, I, I already know that they're going to make me want to do that. So I'm already like, ooh, I don't want to do this. So a lot of calling patients. And when you were... Um, taking the patients that was like pretty easy but their system their computer system was so different than the one we that I used in school so that was really confusing so I was really trying to understand what was going on and it was just like so hard like I didn't I did not understand anything and I you know I was taking notes but still that's gonna take me a while to get the computer system I'm so sorry, my kids are like fighting over their toys. And then even a toy. Mommy, Mommy you have to share. No. Yeah, they don't like sharing anything. She only likes sharing on a good day. Ven acá. No. Luna, share with bebe. No. Yes, no. es tu hermano. No. So, yeah, I didn't really do a lot that day, but I just got so overwhelmed. It's just that busy. And, um, yeah, and then the doctors would come in and they were, you know, tell the girls, like, oh, did you do this? Oh, you know, a patient is calling me that they haven't gotten their medication on the pharmacy like on the pharmacy can you like get to that like and they see my pretty stern OCD doctors I don't know so it kind of like intimidated me like oh shit like you really need to be on top of your game because like if not the doctors are gonna be like on your ass like hey can you get this done can you get this done can you get this done and it's like the clinic it's a pain management specialty, so they're dealing with like hardcore drugs, like like narco, like cocaine, like opioids, like that type of like hardcore um, medication they're prescribing. So you really have to be like on top of your shit, and it was just like really overwhelming, and it made me really stressed. Like I left that day like so shocked, like. Like I left at 5.30 and those girls still stayed to like finish their job. It was just so overwhelming and so today I'm I'm like recording this and so it's Sunday and I'm dressed up because I'm do I did this photo shoot with my best friends. But um I'm so tired and I know I'm gonna be so overwhelmed tomorrow. Like, tomorrow they're actually gonna like start letting me do stuff, like I can just feel it and I'm really scared. Like I don't wanna do anything. I just like I felt they couldn't really train me because it was just so busy and they, I know like I guess I'm, like they were really trying to like finish their patients and go on to the next because everything was just so fast paced. So it was really hard for them to train me and um like I want to be guided I don't want to just go into it and not knowing what I'm doing and I feel like I'm so lost I don't know what I'm doing and that like really like it makes me feel some sort of way because I don't know I just I, like como te digo, I left that day so shocked so like fuck like what am I doing what am I doing with my life because this is everything I work for, and this is everything that I was not expecting this to be. Um, but you know, the girls were very supportive, and they're like, you know, you're not gonna learn this in one day. Like, like, but once you learn it, you're gonna get it like that. And I'm just like, well, can I get it like by tomorrow? Because I'm just feeling so unconfident in my skills, in my schooling, in my education. Like, I feel like. Like, I feel like I can't do it. 
and that's like one of the scariest things like why have i never heard this like conversation as a medical assistant like maybe it's because like i'm working at a bus busy clinic but um it was really bad and it gave me like a bad experience of the busyness and the overwhelming feeling that i just can't get over with so help i don't know what to do i you know everyone treated me super nice but i'm just so overwhelmed i did not think it was gonna be like this i did not think it was gonna be like this and i don't want to scare anyone but oh my god why hasn't anyone talked about it okay so they had about well one girl had about like 30 patients and then another one had like 26 patients so tell me is that a lot of patients what is the lowest for you like i don't know i did not expect this so please pray for me because i'm gonna like i feel really bad leaving it so i'm just gonna continue and i really hope that i get it because i'm just gonna feel i like i feel bad i feel bad that like i don't understand anything and i'm just like kind of like in a stortable there because it is a small clinic and the room where the MAs is really small so i already feel like a big ass is stortable so what do i do guys yeah so i wanted to update you guys and let you guys know what has been going on with me and i just right now i don't know how to feel <sighs> It's really overwhelming too with the kids because now I gotta wake up hella earlier to drop them off and then get to work early so I could like leave leave them with a good impression that you know that I'm a good worker and I come here on time. It's it's just so hard. But yeah, I hope y'all internships went better than mine or whatnot, but I hope I hope in a week from now that I can say, you know, like, hey, I get it now. It's more easier now. But I feel like it's going to be more hard because there's going to be another doctor joining that clinic. So, and they're kind of like, they're short staffed. So, you really need me to get on it, you know. I hope I get it. I really hope I get it. I hope tomorrow is a good day. I hope every fucking day that I go to extraship is a good day. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a very long time. I've been a lot on TikTok. So follow me. <sighs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, I gotta go to sleep and I had to get the kids to bed and I had to take off all of this. <sighs> thank you guys for watching. I don't know why, but I feel like this video is so depressing. <laughs> It's even more depressing than the breakup video I did. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. And um, leave me some advice. But this is the advice that I'm giving you. Is I'm not even fucking leaving advice. But thank you for watching.